What's going on, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. Now, after several years of conflict and dispute with Tybee Island officials and Orange Crush organizers, the Orange Crush Festival will be now held at Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Now, if you guys don't know about Orange Crush, Orange Crush is the annual beach festival that happens at Tybee Island, and it usually happens in the month of late March or usually early April, if I'm not mistaken. But however, this year of 2021, it's being moved to Jacksonville Beach, Florida. And the organizer by the name of George Mikey, he's the organizer of Orange Crush, and he was the organizer for the last few years, actually. But he posted a statement on Facebook. Orange Crush Festival, Jacksonville Beach, Florida, June the 18th through the 20th, 2021. Formerly, Orange Crush Tybee Island has been permanently relocated due to lack of resources, limited parking, civil rights violations, and political injustices. The annual beach event has been moved and has a new location and new dates. It is unclear if Orange Crush will ever return to Tybee Island, Georgia. Luckily, Jacksonville, Florida has agreed to be the new host city for the culturally, oh, let me read more, historic Orange Crush Festival brand. And like I said, it'll be held between the dates of June 18th through the 20th. And, I, I, you know, it's a win-win for both sides, I could say, because, you know, let's read the comments first. Great idea. Um, no, I'm just reading what people are saying. Let's read previous comments. People are saying a uh, great idea. Um, people are tagging other people to know about the situation. Even better, I like Florida. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and I just feel like it's a win-win for both sides because you got the Tabby Island government or the officials of. Tybee Island that really never liked that event in the first place. They always made it difficult for the people attending and even the organizer for them to actually set up the event. And I actually got a chance to talk to George Mikey, not too well, I believe that was either last year or uh, two years ago when he had got locked up on Tybee Island. Um, I had, we had called each other and we had got out of jail from that uh, being arrested on Tybee Island. Now, he got arrested on Tybee Island because freaking, I believe, as a story was said in WTOC, that he was at a rental property on Tybee Island, and I guess uh, they were having a party out there, and it wasn't sanctioned by Tybee Island officials. So he had got locked up, and I think he almost had caught a few other charges, but you know he got out of that, of course. But, you know, I feel like it's a win-win for both sides because you got Tybee Island police that are out staff when Orange Crush happens. You know, Tybee Island police, there's no more than 20 police officers. If I'm not mistaken, the last time I read, I don't think they have no more than, than 10 officers on Tybee Island. But, you know, you know, when Orange Crush happens, you have several counties coming from like different places in Georgia just to come to Orange Crush and police the event. That's how understaffed uh, Tybee Island police is. You know, that's one half of it. But on the Tybee Island side, they look at it as, you know, people are coming to the beach and they trashing it, you know, which was a case. They, they, meant, they did make a case on that. But, you know, now that it's being held in Jacksonville, Florida, the land of the free, for real, <laughs> Florida. But, you know, I feel like it's a win-win, you know. Unfortunately, I feel like Chatham County will lose that revenue when that that event usually happened in uh, late March or early April. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure. But, you know, when the people come, it's usually a college crowd. And, you know, college people, they like to spend money on liquor and booze. And like to go out to eat too. So, Jack, um, Tybee Island will lose a lot of revenue, you know, but it will boost another economy in a different state and a different city, you know. But I read some more comments. Uh, let's load up a little bit more. Damn, I am. I'm out of the way. 
a lot of people just really want to go. People saying, yes, I'm I'm down, let's slide. Putting my vacation in when I get back to work. <laughs> um, we should go, babe. It's in Jacksonville. Like I said, yeah, Jacksonville is only two hours away. You know, take I-95, get on that A1A. You there. Um, we should really go. If shit normal by May, let's book. People saying I'm down. Yeah. I never been cause that beach can't be trusted, but this is hmm. We've been trying to get here for years. Uh, um We in there. Yeah, I mean people are excited, you know. Especially at the COVID, at the year of being locked down and you have to wear a mask on your face and you can't go this place, you know, certain amount of people. People just want to be back in that atmosphere and you can't really blame them, you know, especially college, college students, you know. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, man. You know, nobody, I feel like it's a win-win. Like I said, win-win on both sides. You got to go two hours down the road, but hey. I do that to not be harassed and pull be pulled over for a petty violation any day. But as for me, that's all the news I have for today. Any other updates about this? I'll let y'all know as well. But that's it. Take care of yourself.